What's up, guys? John here. Titan Talk Tuesday. We are in the house. This week is officially off and running. So it's Tuesday, end of the day for most of us work-wise. Going into that hump day, I always say that. Middle of the week, ready to roll. So at that point, it's been a really, really good one. December 1st today. What's up, boy? 1975. Matthew, what's going on? Mujin South Cast. What's up, Chris? What's going on, dude? Um, so at that point, we are here. December 1st, man. This year has just flown by. 24 more days till Christmas. I haven't done any Christmas shopping yet. I, you know, I hope, I'm not going to wait till last minute. It's just been crazy. So I know a lot of people are doing Amazon. Try to shop local. You know, that was a big one, you know, for a lot of people. You know, even if you don't, try to do something for local business and stuff like that to circulate, man. Help out those people that are local, not just big businesses like Amazon who have created billions and trillions of dollars. Even though it's easy to use them, right? Because I'm, I'm, I, am, I am the same as you guys. You know, I, I'm guilty of it too. You know, you order something that goes right to the house. It's nice and easy, nice and simple. Uh, but try to support your local businesses, all right? Um, we have a lot to talk about today. A lot of good ones. What up, Steph? How you doing, Nikki? Reds, what's going on? Uh, Chris, you're welcome for the stuff yesterday. Thank you for coming by. If you guys come by, you know, like Chris came by. He won actually on Black Wednesday. He won, a, you know, a Titan tank top. So he came down, man. It was really nice to meet him. There were met him in person, stuff like that. Took a picture with him. And I hooked him up with a whole bunch of Titan gear. Not just the tank top, but I wanted to make sure he was good and, and definitely, you know, supporting us. I appreciate it. And it's the least I can do to get back and stuff like that. So, you know, that's uh, just one thing. So when we do those giveaways, guys, I try to go above and beyond for all the people out there. But uh, anyway, so therapy of the week. Can I take TRT without going bald? Be honest. So it's a good question. So yes, you can take TRT or HRT without going bald. Um, here's the big thing. So the big thing about it is is having the proper dose of testosterone, right? And then looking at what your genetics are like. So just for example, if your genetics are, you know, your dad is bald, right? Your grandpa is bald, or even on your mother's side. You know, your grandpa on that side is bald. Uh, if you're having those issues and stuff like that, and then it might be in your genetics. And not everybody that goes bald takes testosterone. Now, if you take too much testosterone, exogenous amounts, what happens is, is that testosterone converts into different hormones. You know, two big ones that I want to mention are estradiol, right? Or DHT, dihydrotestosterone. So at that point, you want to make sure all these levels are good and everything's in a harmonic balance. You don't want anything too high. Usually they say if DHT levels go really, really extremely high, this could increase or expedite the balding or male balding patterns that you may come across with using this. So the big thing is be preventative. If you have these, because I know guys that have taken exogenous amounts of testosterone, um, not worried about DHT. DHT has been through the roof, blood tested, and not lose a strand of hair. I know other guys where it's the opposite, and they start really losing hair really quick, you know, because their hormones are all jacked up, and it's not a harmonic balance. But it's really, you know, it comes down to genetics, and if the genetics are against you, and you still have low testosterone, and you want to benefit from this, the big thing is, and this is for males and females, because females will experience balding too with taking too much testosterone. And I see it all the time. But the big thing is, is to be preventative. If you have these things genetically in your family and you want to do hormone replacement therapy and make sure there are some other therapies out there that you can be preventative with so you don't lose your hair or so you grow thicker hair. Um, and, you know, for guys, it's one thing, right? There are some guys out there, they're like Samson. The power is in their hair. Most guys put it aside because... They look good, right? They're body-wise. They feel great. Quality of life is through the roof. Sex drive, uh, concentration, performance in all aspects, from professional to, you know, in physical levels. Um, so they kind of put it aside. Like, you know what? It's, it is what it is. Uh, I'd be the same way. Listen, if I go ball from taking testosterone, whatever it is, I'm okay with that. And the reason is, is because I want all the other benefits. So I'm good. But girls, a whole different ball game. Girls, if they start losing their hair, that's like a part of them, right? What up, Mr. Beefcake? Cole, how you doing? So, you know, I understand. So, girls are really, really sensitive about this. And I see a lot doing it. And the reason is because they're going on injectable testosterone, which isn't bad in some cases. 
but the amount or the dosage that they're doing and then what their numbers are coming back as, that's the problem. And the same thing can happen with guys. If these numbers are too high, right, and these levels of DHT are too high, that's when you're really going to have the problems. So I hope that's answered your question. And it's a great question. I get it from a lot of guys uh, in particular. And then females, I don't really talk to them about it, like in groups or stuff like that or when they call in or whatever it may be, until they're, they're already experiencing the symptoms or the problems. The, because the issue is this is males it's a male masculine hormone testosterone okay so for us being a little exogenous is okay right we can have a little bit higher levels that's what our main hormone is as far as a masculine hormone for females if you introduce too much of this masculine hormone things are going to happen these things that are possibly going to happen because you're introducing this masculine hormone which you already have in your body but at a right level but if you introduce too much of this what can happen is, is you're going to get facial hair or hair on the body and parts that you've never had it before. You're going to get possible, um, you know, losing of hair, male pattern baldness. Uh, you're, you know, you're, you know, it just happens like that. Next thing is deepening of the voice. Okay, acne can happen, bad acne, cystic acne. Um, the other thing is, is that their, clit, their clitoris uh, can enlarge, so clitoral enlargement. And usually women don't like that either. Now, if they're with their husband or somebody they want to be for a long time, it might not be an issue. Some single girls really, really get very conscious about that specifically because if they've never, never been intimate with this person, they're already conscious as it is. And at that point, it can create, create worse things or problems as far as for their confidence level. And that can cause other issues like depression or these other different things. What up, Scott? My big man Scott out there. Back in the blue, we love you. My Grace Hovino, how you doing? All right, so that month, that month, the month. Uh, great answer. I had to stop because I was losing a lot of hair. Wondering if my doc was just dropping the ball. I'm 30. I have a decent head of hair, but it started to fall out in the shower bad. So that is definitely, um, that's definitely a red flag, okay? And that happens to quite a few guys. So what is happening is, is it, listen, I don't know your doctor, so I don't speak bad about anybody or any clinic out there, okay? People do their own thing. That's fine. I know what we do here at Titan Medical Center. That's all I can really speak on, okay? But I know that we make sure that we're, we're looking at these levels, we're monitoring these levels, you're getting the proper other medications that can prevent this stuff if you're having this issue. Because, you know, if you're losing it like that, you're losing the shower, it probably took a couple months for your hair to get back to where it is. Now, the other thing that you can do to be proactive about this is you could go to a hair specialist and they actually put like a microscope on your hair and they can tell you how many minimized hairs because what happens with your hair, and I've learned a lot about this because of the issue, okay? So hair, usually what it does is, as it grows out in your follicle, it's deeper, right? And it's, it's nice and plush in there, a lot of blood flow in there. What happens over time is that blood flow can get cut off, which, you know, your hair it starts minimizing over time. So if you lose a strand like this, the next strand might only grow to this much, and then to this much, and to this much, and to this much, and then it's gone. And then when that follicle is usually gone, it's gone, right? It's over with. Um, but, you know, if you haven't reached that issue, you know, there is other things out there to prevent these different things to help your hair uh, be healthy while your body's still in check with all the different hormones that you need. And, and that's really where it's at, you know. So, you know, just wherever you go to, just make sure, you know, six months of tests and syringes. So that is the problem. And that's the problem with a lot of other places out there. They are turn and burn. You know, we want to sell you as much as we can the first time. Six months. Are you kidding me? You know, listen, the first time somebody signs up with us as a patient, we want to at least go 28 days with them. And let me tell you why. Because we do get people that say, well, why can't I get three months right up front or six months right up front? Here's the problem. The dose that we start you out with, and nothing's cookie cutter here, so we want to make sure it's personalized regimen for you guys. But... When we start off, we put you on a dose, or the medical provider does, and they get you on these different things. And at that point, 28 days, 28 days later, we call you. We talk to you. If there's a problem beforehand, you call, text, email us. We're going to talk to you right then and there and find out what the problem is and get it handled. But if you don't and everything's going okay in, in your mind, 28 days later, we find out. Okay? And at that point, we call. We ask, if everything's good and every, you're not experiencing any problems, everything's great, then yes, you can continue on that dose and keep going. That's not a problem. But we should at least check every three to six months on blood. 
And if there's a problem beforehand, so you get into the first month, everything's going good, but you know what? I'm starting to see some hair fall out. Then you call or contact us or your medical provider, and what they should be doing is running a DHT test on you. Now, some providers will charge you a, ma a massive amount of money just for that test. For us, it's 30 bucks, so it's the cheapest you're going to find in the country. So if you really want to know what it is, you can find out. And you don't have to be a patient, so you don't have to do any therapies with us or anything. You can just use it for blood work. And at that point, you guys can see some of the different things that are going on. And I think that's very important, um, you know, for aesthetic-wise and for physical-wise. So inside the body is just as important on the outside, and you want to make sure all that is working on the inside. Because if those vital organs are messed up or something's not working, it could be a domino effect with your health, and it could just, you know, wither and decrease you know and you don't want that so you want to make sure that you're good to go some folks want to save but there's better ways to save money than your health getting blood work done consistently is key so that is true you know the blood work is the key it's a diagnosis from inside you know with this we have the cheapest blood cost in the country i beat everybody as far as out-of-pocket blood testing Nobody beats us in the country. So if you're interested in one test, you can start full panels. We'd be happy to take care of you guys. All you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. We'd be happy to go over all this information with you and help you guys out. But it's one thing you don't want to short is your health. You know, we invest all this money in different things, you know, from your house, your car, your job. You know, you invest your time there, right? All these different things. But you really need to make sure that you're investing in yourself to make sure that you're good. And if you have a family or you're by yourself, it really doesn't matter because without your health, you're not doing anything. You're not going out with your family. You're not going out with single girls if you're single. You're not doing anything. What's up, Josh? What up, Titan fam? How you doing? Big Drew, Olympia weekend. Yeah, we will be announcing Olympia weekend soon. Drew is pumped for it. I can't wait. I'm just being honest with you. I've talked to some people. I just got the phone with Tim Gardner, if you guys know who he is. Um, so I'm really excited about it. Just waiting on the fire marshal to uh, say okay on some of the convention things. And then I will be announcing what Titan is going to be doing. Titan takeover for sure. I can't wait. Either way, I'll be going over what we're going to do at Olympia, but we're going to be giving away a lot of different things. I'll go over that at the end of this, okay? Um, but if there's any other any other questions or concerns that you want to know about HRT, I'd be happy to answer the questions. I love when you guys bring me these questions because I can talk about it with you guys and go in depth about it. And maybe I'll help you guys out or maybe educate somebody in something or help them out and then just pay it forward, right? Help somebody else out, help somebody else out, somebody else out. Um, and we'll be really good. I think that's what the world needs is people helping other people out and trying to try to take or stab or, or hurt people or step over people to try to get somewhere where they need to be. I'm all about that. Positive, man. You push out positive vibes, you usually get them back. What do I have to do to transfer from Tampa Rejuvenation to you guys? Just move to Channel Side. Dude, you're down Channel Side? All right, so how long have you been with Tampa Rejuvenation? If you are with another clinic, it's very simple and easy to switch over to Titan Medical Center. If you're on hormone replacement therapy, okay, so we need a blood test with, with, with the, the test that we need, the labs, within 60 days. If you have those blood tests already, we'll accept them, but it's a test that we need. If you need to get them done, I'll hook you up, Sonny. I'll give you a super discount on blood work. Make sure that you're taken care of as far as getting that. After that, you come in, you see the medical provider, or you do it via telemedicine if you're anywhere in the country. Think about that. You can sit in your home or sit in your office or sit in your car. You can do your visit with the medical provider. It's, it's recorded, put in your personal file. You see him. They see you. You hear them. They hear you. And it's awesome. You can ask them all the questions. They go over your blood work. And for that, okay, so been there for eight months. So, Sonny, um, if you need blood work, let's sign up and go there. Let's get the blood work done. I'll give you a discount on your visit, too, because you're going to transfer over. Okay, I'll do it half price for you. I'll hook you up. Um, and at that point, we'll be able to set, set you up and take care of you. You know, we don't do any cookie cutter stuff. Um, you know, not, not to say tamper rejuvenation is bad, but we do things a little bit differently. We have a lot more different therapies as far as our injectable vitamin amino acid blends and stuff like that that we just offer here at Titan Medical Center. So be happy to help you out, man, um, and help you transfer over very easy and efficiently, okay? So you're not, you don't have to stop your regimen, so you don't have to crash your levels or anything like that. If you're on prescribed testosterone from a medical provider here in the United States, get the medication prescribed from the United States. It's a very simple and easy transfer to come over to Titan Medical Center, okay? Um, yeah, and, and study so if you want to, just walk in, man. We'll, we'll draw your blood here if you want. We'll take care of everything for you and make sure that, you know, you're comfortable. You have a great time. We'll give you a brand new tight medical center shirt and swag bag so you're all hooked up. Feel good walking out, okay? Um, all right, so let's get into the therapy of the week because we've been talking about all these different things. 
Oh, uh, Hall Squad, what's good? Uh, so Drew's talking to Hall Squad oh, about this. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, I see them on here. So Big Drew's the man. I love Big Drew, man. Um, so, all right. So therapy of the week, Nectar of the Gods. So Nectar of the Gods is a really great therapy, and especially this time around. Now, I know COVID's going around, so everybody wants immune system boosters. Um, but let's not talk, you know, let's not forget about the flu and, and strep throat and all these different things, right? So... With this, we want to make sure that you guys are getting a lot of big bang for your buck. And we were talking about some of these custom blends that Titan Medical Center does. And for this, this is one of them. Nectar of the Gods is one of them. Um, and this is a great therapy. So it involves a lot of great different components. And let's go over some of those different components so you guys can understand why it's so good and how it's going to help you out. The first thing is glutamine. So glutamine is great for recovery. You know, it's pretty much every supplement in there. Now, remember, this is injectable fastest transportation rate highest absorbency so that's that's the best thing about it right so you're going to absorb more it's going to get in your bloodstream a lot faster the next thing after that so you're going to get arginine arginine is going to be great for blood flow vasodilation it's awesome after that and here's one of the main components that i really really like uh it's glutathione super antioxidant great for immune system boosting getting rid of free radicals um so when we talk about this and we talk about oxidation so there's oxidation that happens in the body, okay? And when we talk about oxidation, if you don't know what it is, you might know what a car is, right? And cars, if they get salt on them and stuff like this, what happens is they rust over time, you know, the salt and oxygen and stuff like that. So with that, that's oxidation. That's what happens. So think about the, your inside of your body oxidizing, basically rusting inside. And at that point, you have to have something that fights that. And that's where super antioxidants or antioxidants come into play right they, they're anti-oxidation so that's really where it helps now it helps a number of different ways too we're talking about liver functions right um you know it's really really key to make sure your liver is working properly and let's talk about why so the main reason why is because your liver is the filter to your body the reason thing you're taking an orally or processing through there is going through your liver your liver is a great uh, it's it's its own machine pretty much you know it can it can fight a lot of damage rejuvenate itself over time um, but you want to give stuff so you're preventing this another thing is immune system boosting or immune system support that's where glutathione is really there and that's what we call a super antioxidant because vitamin c you can do by injectable there's other antioxidants you can do but this is really the mother of antioxidants so it's going to be a big big benefit now, the difference between this one and glutathione by itself, because you might ask that question to yourself, like, should I take this one or should I take this one? Now, for this, 60 milligrams is in this Nectar of the Gods blend, whereas if you get glutathione by itself, it's 200 milligrams per ml, so 200 milligrams per one shot, where in this one, you get 60 milligrams per shot, but you're getting these other components like glutamine, arginine, we mentioned glutathione. You're also going to get NAC in there, which is great for liver function too as well and, and another uh, proponent to help you out as far as results-wise. Lysine's in there. So at that point, another immune system booster. So you see where we're going with this with Nectar of the Gods. It's really as preventative and to really, really help you boost your immune function um, in these times where you could be in the cold, there's flu going around, COVID going around and stuff like that. So you want to prepare your body the best you possibly can and fortify your fortress from the inside out. And that's really where this comes into play. L-carnitine's in it, proline's in it, taurine's in it. So great for brain function, um, collagen-based amino acid, proline to help lubrication in the joint area, L-carnitine for weight loss. So you're getting a good, great wide variety of different things, but really focusing on immune system and uh, recovery, uh, little blood flows in there and stuff like that. But your main three big components in there, glutathione, lysine is another immune system boosting, NAC, those are the big ones in there. And then you have the tap-ons like glutamine, arginine, proline, taurine, NAC, or excuse me, L-carnitine. So at that point, if you guys want to know more about that therapy, Nectar of the Gods, which is Therapy of the Week, or any of our different therapies or services that we offer from hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, Vitamin amino acid injectable therapies like we just talked about. Libido enhancers or bedroom enhancers. We've got a ton of new therapies for that, guys. Women and men. So, guys, get to that because, you know, who doesn't want to be a superhero in the bedroom, right? On both ends. Um, peptide therapies. From healing peptides like BPC-157, TB-500. Weight loss peptides like AOD-9604. Um, your IGF-1, right? That's a great one. LR3. Plus your growth and releasing peptides or hormones like... CJC-1295 and then Perone, which was Therapy of the Week last week, and MK-677, which is Big Drew, one of his good ones that he likes that will stimulate your appetite and help you guys grow more. So there's, a diff there's different therapies for what you're trying to do. 
And if you're looking for a great one for immune system boosting to help you guys out, what's going on outside right now, even if it's just flu or just want to protect yourself from the public, Nectar of the Gods might be a great therapy for you. All right, so the next thing we'll talk about is we're going to get into some... Yes, so MK677, Hulk Squad. And trust me, you're going to get hungry. You're going to get stronger. Yeah, yeah. So the whole point of the whole point of MK, man, is it stimulates your adrenaline, the hunger hormone. And you're definitely going to, you know, take this at night and stuff like that. Drew will attest to this. But, um, you know, if you take it during the day, get ready to eat. I don't care if you had a buffet 15 minutes beforehand. You take that MK... It's gonna, it's gonna raise up your hunger like you have not seen ever. I'm telling you, it's just crazy. So that's really a great one. And if you mix that with Hercules, you're golden, dude. I mean, you're raising IGF-1 levels, which is a number of different benefits. And you're getting all the Hercules potion. You're gonna love it. Now with this, make sure that you're eating clean and you're drinking a lot of water. Um, Drew said you'll eat everything and gain lean mass. So with Drew though. Drew is very, very, you know, he's tight on, on his diet most of the time. So when he was eating all this stuff, he was eating good amounts of food. If you eat crappy food and you don't drink proper water, you are going to gain some bad weight, okay? And that's going to happen anytime, but this is going to stimulate your hunger. So you're going to want to eat everything in the house. So at that point, it's going to help you to a certain extent, but you want to make sure that you're at least keeping it clean as possible and you're drinking, you know, as much water as you can per day, okay? All right, so that's the next one. Women with COVID-19 has baby and the baby has antibodies. So I talk about some of these different things in health and science because it's Titan talk and this goes right along with what's going on, um, you know, in health, in the health field, especially we're learning so much about COVID-19 um, and what it's done. I've had COVID-19 asymptomatic. Sharice had it and she was in the ICU. Yeah, it's just weird how this is affecting people in different ways. And especially with this. So this lady was pregnant. She got COVID when she was 10 weeks pregnant, okay? So she was over COVID and everything like that when she did the delivery. The baby came out. There was no fluid that had COVID around the baby or anything like that. The baby has antibodies. Now, the big question to them is, is, hey, listen, should we, you know, is, is this baby going to be able to protect it from COVID-19? How long is the antibodies going to last? You know, why was this given? Did he have COVID-19 already and go through it uh, in the womb and stuff like that? So there's a lot of questions. They're doing a lot of research on this. Um, and there has been babies that have 30 hours later contacted COVID-19. And they don't know if that was cross-contamination from somebody else doing it or if they got it from the mother. So we'll see on a lot of these different things. Now, me and Art were talking about beforehand you know with babies doing this or maybe coming out with this you know maybe it's helping the next generation be able to be protected from this we won't know for a couple of years on this um and it's just kind of crazy so we'll see what it is hawk squad drinking two gallons is awesome dude my job is highly physical this is definitely gonna help for that for sure all right so COVID 19 antibodies and babies you know we're learning this every day i hope they uh they come up with something soon so we can get back to normal all right, what do we got here? Comments from, uh, Facebook up here. Well, oh, wow, okay. Dwayne Day, what up, dude? No, How you no, doing, bro? Loves I love Drew, Dwayne. He's a good dude, man. All right, so, uh, well, Chris, yo, Big Drew, I would love to meet you sometime, maybe in a few weeks. Chris, maybe if you come down, you'll be able to meet Big Drew. All right. Uh, will this be offered next week when I make it back over there? What would actually are we talking about will be offered? Let me know. Um, okay, so the next thing up, Texans NFL players, six-game su suspension for PEDs. So two players on the Texans, um, one was a wide receiver and the other one was a cornerback. What happened to these guys? So we don't know what drugs they came up or performance-enhancing drugs um, that they are getting suspended for. Not yet. They haven't released that in the media yet. But basically what these guys said was is they went to a doctor uh, the doctor prescribed the medication that was against, um, you know, basically the NFL's banned substance rule. Uh, so if you are a professional athlete out there, if you don't know the banned substances in your league, I would highly recommend that you go over those banned substances because doctors are not going to know. If you come to a medical clinic or something like that, they're not going to be like, what's your banned substances and stuff like that. Now, that's a question I would ask because I deal with a lot of athletes, and I don't want any athlete to get in trouble, especially if that's their career. That's their moneymaker. To be suspended that many games, especially in football, that's going to hit your pocket. Baseball, that's going to hit your pocket. So we don't want that. But other medical practices, like 
you know, they're not going to ask that. They're going to say, hey, listen, you have these different problems. This is what we're going to prescribe to, to solve these problems or help you out. And they're not going to worry about it. Then it's on you to really find out, hey, listen, is this a banned substance or not? So do I believe these guys knew? <sighs> I mean, it's so hard, right? Now, you know, the you know one of the guys is coming off a record season, right? He's had, he's had a great season as far as it goes, wide receiver. Uh, and to be out six games is going to be huge. So at that point, the Texans lost two guys performance enhancing drugs. It sucks. All right. Uh, so next one is Tyson. Tyson says he was high during the Roy Jones Jr. fight. So if you guys missed the fight this weekend, Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson did an expedition match, right? Now it wasn't, they couldn't, you know, hit people in the head. They couldn't go really full out. But it was really cool to see. It was nostalgic, right? To see Tyson come back, get in the ring, lose all the weight. Those training videos. Roy Jones Jr., an awesome fighter as well. Um, so when they got in there, it was pretty cool. But, you know, Tyson said he smoked right before he got in the ring. Um, he's owned, uh, he owns, like, you know, some basically some marijuana dispensaries and stuff like that. He said he's been smoking his whole career or a good amount of it. Um, and, you know, you have to take a drug test when you're, you're fighting professionally, especially for this. And they usually test for drugs, and marijuana is one of them because it's still federally illegal. Um, so at that point, he says he was using his wife's pee, and then it got to a point where the wife thought maybe she might get pregnant, so he started using the kid's pee, and they used, prost he used prosthetic penises uh, and urine to get by some of these drug tests. So it's just crazy what some people do, but he's like, I'm a smoker, I smoke all day. So listen, some athletes, it does help in quite a different way. So I won't knock I think marijuana should definitely not be a scheduled one drug. Uh, marijuana is a scheduled one drug. And if you guys don't know what scheduled one means, that means no medical purpose whatsoever. Um, and that's, you know, as well as we do. And now we know with research that medical marijuana, and you know, it's got benefits as far as that goes. Um, so we'll, we'll see how this all pans out. But he's like, listen, I, I fought, didn't hurt my performance. I smoke all day. So... Mike Tyson, I could definitely see that. He went from cokehead to smoker. It's really crazy, you know, and he all, he all obviously says it. And we were talking about him just the other day, you know, he lost 100 pounds in weight loss, which is huge, huge, especially at his age and stuff like that. So I wonder if Mike Tyson has taken any performance-enhancing drugs. I, just between me and you guys, I probably think he has, okay, in my opinion. Now, that might not be, you know, everybody, performance-enhancing drugs. They always think of this bad stereotype. Now, like testosterone, that's a performance-enhancing drug. They, they, they categorize it as. But in reality, I mean, if you you have lower deficient testosterone levels, you're going to cause yourself most likely more health negative benefits, more negative health benefits, excuse me, uh, or more problems may arise, or you might not feel the best energy-wise, concentration-wise, libido might not be the same, metabolism might not be the same. So that's where, you know, I kind of like, uh, you know, listen, it's good to be uh, all the way optimized. Like I said, anything over, I understand that, but I guarantee Mike Tyson had to do some sort of weight loss program where he was doing some other things. Now, he said he was vegan and all this, and he said that was what he attributed to, but I can guarantee it was to other things. For sure. And a lot of these different superstars, um, especially actors. So Chris Hensworth, who plays Thor, right? He's doing a Hulk Hogan movie, a documentary, whatever it is. Um, and he's had to gain a whole bunch of lean mass. And he's, he's looking good. Now, protocols for anabolic steroids, I think they're definitely in play there. Um, performance enhancing drugs. And a lot of them really do it. They really literally go to trainers, some go to bodybuilders, and they're like, listen, I need my body to look like this in 12 weeks. And what they do is they put a program together, they put a nutritional program together, uh, you know, a cycle per se uh, of what they should be taking together, um, and then watch over them with the training. Uh, at that point, usually gets the, the actors and stuff like that, the results they're looking for. Uh, but it's just crazy. And college caffeine is considered before. Yeah. So college, college is before. Yeah. So we're just talking about this beforehand. You know, athletes are not supposed to be uh, taking ephedrine or, you know, certain amounts of caffeine and stuff like that. It just, every league is different to a certain extent, but most of them overlap on some of the things. Ephedrine is definitely one that's out. Now, even here in Florida, MMA, they're not allowed to drink energy drinks beforehand or get an IV right after weigh-ins. And there's reasons they're, they're saying that's why. Um, you know, it's just, you got to watch out. So you just got to, yeah, seriously. So it's crazy out there. And some of the things that they will knock you down for. So you just got to make sure if you're an athlete, cover your butt. Now I know athletes, they don't care. They're like, I don't care if it's banned. I'll do it. 
that's on you. I, I'm probably not going to help you here, but, you know, it is what it is. So at that point, you know, just do the right thing or try to cover your butt the best way you possibly can. Sure, sure. Marijuana is a good gateway to Pizza Hut. That's true. Uh, you can probably make your own pizzas or steak. Now, here's the other thing. So people really want to, to increase appetite. And there is uh, there's marijuana out there. And you can get your medical marijuana card. So it can be legal for you to have this. We're not talking about illegal substances here. Or not state. So if you're state and it's illegal, hey, you're, you're out. Florida, it's legal for medical marijuana. Now, appetite's another big thing. So you actually have a lot of bodybuilders or just regular guys that want to gain lean muscle mass. Now, you can train, right? You can take these different performance enhancing or optimized levels. Um, but the big thing is, is next thing is going to be sleep. It's going to be, obviously, if you're training hard already. And then the next thing is going to be nutrition. So nutrition, when I talk about that, I talk about the calories you're intaking and what quality of food. So you want to take as much clean food in. So you want to eat. The problem after that is, is you can only eat so much. So your body's like, oh, it's shut down. It's not, you're not hungry mentally and stuff like that. And that's kind of where some people do or medical marijuana where, you know, it helps your appetite. So it increases their appetite. They can eat a lot more. Um, they're ready to go. So that, that is another benefit to it in some strains of the medical marijuana. And people can definitely, you know, take advantage of that. You know, if that's in your state, it can help you out in a lot of different ways. Like I said, from headaches, you know, pains and, and some other different things. So look into it if possible. It's not a bad thing. It's really nice. What up, Illmatic? How you doing, bro? All right. So the next one. All right, so let's talk about the reactions. So Mark Goddard is a referee. A, he's a pretty big referee in MMA. Never heard of myself until I read the article, but I guess he's done a lot of big fights. Now, there was a fight this weekend with a 529-pound guy. Okay, he looked like a sumo wrestler. And a 139-pound female. And she looked like a bad badass. I ain't going to lie. So they fought. Now, this guy, you know, this 529-pound guy, and this is MMA, so you can do whatever you want. Kick, punch, tackle, get on top, start punching. You know, so this guy, like, rushed her pretty much in the fight, if you hadn't, didn't see it, and he went after her. And he was, like, getting, he was beating up on her a little bit, and then she came back with punches. She got out of it and just started going at him. And her quickness and her being able to get around him and agility is really what set the fight apart and really what helped her win because she did win. That was the big thing. She won by TKO. So she knocked his ass out. That's that's pretty that that's that's really good. You know, I gotta say that that's that's pretty big big. So at that point, it doesn't matter if you're a girl, you're a guy, how big you are. You really, it's how you handle yourself. That goes for a lot of different things. So I'm gonna play the video for Facebook, sadly Instagram. Sure. Out, but they can see the video sure. after. We so you got yeah, you guys can see it afterwards. We'll, if you guys are on Instagram now, don't worry. We're gonna load the whole program right now. You guys see the green screen, and I just want to go live with you guys. But afterwards, we give you the full production. If you're on Facebook, you see the full production already. So congratulations to you guys. Instagram's got to catch up. Sounds like a scene on a blood sport. It looked like a scene on a blood sport. Look it up after this. It was awesome. It was really awesome. This fight got taken place in Russia. Um, so it was a big Russia. You know, this promoter, I guess, that promotes, promotes all these crazy fights. But when you see it, it does. It looks like a movie. It looks like like this was a movie and this was set up. Like It's really, really crazy and really, really cool. So... Different things like this, you know, they definitely catch my attention when I start reading through the news and everything like that. I try to come at you guys and uh, share some really cool stuff that has to do with either athletics or with your health or, or new up-and-coming things. And this was definitely a great one. But this referee said, listen, it was a disgrace. It gives, you know, MMA a bad image or black eye. I don't think so. And to me, when this girl, you know, if this guy got on top of this girl and he, like, demolished her and stuff like that, I would have probably said, yeah, it probably might have been a good move. But with this girl winning, it gives other girls out there motivation and inspiration. Or maybe even littler guys that think that they can't compete with bigger guys. You know, that's not true in every circumstance out there. So uh, I never, you know, judge a book by its cover per se. You, you always judge the person, you know, not what they look like or, oh or size or anything like that. But, yeah, they stood over him. Like he's like a yeah, he was a tro he, he was oh definitely a trophy right there. He was like out in the wild, uh, 529 pounds. They they weighed his ass, so they know that they got it. <laughs> uh, so it's awesome. My pleasure as Q and A pharmacist to do all of your staff, John. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Amir. I appreciate it. To do all of your staff, that's awesome. Thank you so much, man. I love seeing people like this. Big Irish man, what's going on, bro? How you doing, man? What's going on? What's going on? How you doing? 
Sorry, guys. I like to interact with all you guys out there. It's really, really awesome to have you guys tune in. Thank you, guys. The only thing about it is maybe considering circus type fight. Yeah, circus type fighting. Well, I've seen fights where they've had two on ones, three on ones, all out brawls. So they put four or five guys in the ring, and then it's every man for himself. So you see, like one guy punching the other guy, and the other guy coming from behind and knocking that dude down or taking him down, putting him in. So it's just really, really crazy. Um, but you'll see all different kinds of things out there, and I think it's just going to get even crazier, to be honest with you. So we will see, but this fight was really cool. So if you didn't see it, go check it out. They have the highlight reels. You'll, you'll get the gist of it. All right, guys. Hollandale. Oh, I'm here. That's awesome. Yeah, so Hollandale. So you guys are on the come up with us for sure. Uh, we're going to be switching majority of our business to Hollandale Pharmacy. Uh, really, really cool stuff. We're going to be doing a lot of different branding with them, so I'm really excited. Uh, so you're going to be seeing a lot more Titan branding coming from your pharmacy, uh, pharmaceuticals or therapies that you're going to be getting. I'm really excited with that. So really good as far as that goes. I'm really happy. All right, Black Talisman, how you doing, man? Nice to see you. What is your TRT protocol looking like? So mine personally, is that what you're asking, Fitness? Let me know. Uh, yes, sir. All right. So why you're why you're going to tell me what if you're asking about my personal HRT or TR, TRT protocol is, and I have no problem with telling you guys everything I'm doing. I'm very open when I do. Um, and any new therapies that come out, I definitely test drive those bad boys because if I don't like it or I don't think I see a result, then at that point, I'm not going to bring it up to you guys. I don't care how much of a big seller it is in some of these places or what they're doing. Listen, guys, if it don't work, I'm going to tell you straight up, it don't work or it ain't worth the money. Um, do I need blood work to buy weight loss, non-injections? So, no, you don't need any blood work. The only thing you need blood work for is hormone replacement therapy. So, if you're looking to do testosterone replacement therapy or even IGF-1 therapies, then you're going to need blood work. If you're looking to do our weight loss programs, even our Tighten Up or Tighten Complete injectables, which are vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, that's not a problem. You're going to fill out the new patient paperwork, you're going to see our medical provider, and you're going to be good to go. Um, even our ECA Stack Plus, which is a capsule, it's not an injection, great for weight loss, it's awesome, energy, focus, fat burning, it's great. It gets me through my day all day long. Um, don't need no pre-workouts, don't need no extras, that's the way to do it for sure. Um, so, yes, if you want to do that, all you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. We'll get you over the new patient paperwork and get you all set. What up, Christine? It's great to hey, it's great to hear from you. I seen your picture today. I got to send you off some more Titan gear. More tank tops, leggings. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Christine Leonard, love her. She's been a part of the Titan team and family for years now. Callie Love. So, we hope you're doing all right out there. I hope they're not holding you down too bad out there in California. All right? Uh, you can definitely get that Hercules Potion, definitely a great one. If you use ECA Stack Plus with Hercules Potion, you have a stimulant and you have everything you're going to need for pump, recovery, immune system boosting. Like, you're going to be ready to go. Like, that's definitely a great combination. We actually have our Trifecta, which are ECA Stack Plus, Hercules Potion, Tide Complete, and then you get a discount on all three if you're going to do those two as well. So, that might be something you might be interested in too as well. Um, okay. So let's go over some of the events. Uh, all right, first event, I will see you guys. What up, Nikki? Team Titan all the way. Um, so the first event that's going to be coming, I'm really excited about this, is in a, we don't know all the details, but we're working those details out right now because we're going to Olympia. Olympia is Orlando. If you guys don't know where Olympia is, it's like the Super Bowl for bodybuilding, weightlifting. Okay, and this is going on every year and stuff like that. Big shout out, you know, some of my people out there. Uh, one of our team members, Rachel Daniels, will be in Olympia. I know Janine Lakowski is going to be there. I know Derek's going to be there. So uh, it's going to be a huge event. We're bringing all the Titans with us, or a good amount of Titans with us. Uh, I got a whole bunch of rooms at the host hotel. We're going to be there one way or another. Now, for us, we're going to bring a whole bunch of Titan gear down and everything like that. We were thinking about just passing it out. Like, we'll go in the lobby, to hit it up, everybody, because we didn't know about a booth yet, and they didn't know what was going to go on. Um, and talks with them right now about getting a huge booth for Titan Medical Center set up. So if that is the go. Hopefully, I'll know by next week. And at that point, it'll be awesome because we'll be there. We're going to do a huge setup like we always do. Either way, we're going to have tons of giveaways. You'll get to meet uh, 
me, Sharice, if you want to meet us. Uh, Drew's going to be there. Rodney's coming. I got all kinds of the Titans and Titanets coming out. So take pictures, hang out, talk, maybe ask questions about the therapies that you didn't want to ask on here or maybe come up afterwards. You guys can really get a really in-person visit with us and talk with us or just hang out and have a great time with Titan. That's what we like to do, man. And Olympia is a huge thing. For it to be here in Orlando, that's the first time out of Vegas. Huge. Huge. I just can't say how big it is. It's a really a big deal. All right, so it's going to be awesome. So that is 12. We will be down there on the 17th to the 20th. So that's Thursday to Sunday. We're checking out Sunday, so we'll be gone. So let's say Thursday to Saturday, because Sunday, when I wake up, I'm getting in the car and heading home. All right. What up, Dan? How you doing? Dan, we're in the house. What's going on? All right, so uh, next thing after that, 110, so it's January 10th. Festivals of Speed that will be at Fenoy Park in St. Petersburg. So if you're in here, you guys are definitely going to have to come on and come by. Tons of exotic cars, tons of folk, or people, excuse me, uh, tons of different things on there. So you guys are going to love it. Come out. We'll have a Titan booth out there with the media sponsors be in full effect. The Titan rides will be out there, and hopefully there's going to be a new one coming. We'll see very soon. And uh, you guys are going to love it. Watch. Um, all right, after that, the 24th of January, we head back to Orlando for Festivals of Speed at the Ritz-Carlton. Huge property. They lay out all these exotic cars, Lambos, Rolls Royces, Ferraris, all these different kind of cars um, across the property of the Ritz-Carlton. It's gorgeous. Um, we'll be out there again representing media sponsors as well. So we'll be hanging out, talking to a whole bunch of people, spreading the good word of Titan. And hopefully getting to see a whole bunch of people, talk to people. We love taking pictures and hanging out and just seeing everybody. All right, Dan, for sure. I want to get with you, man. I hope everything's well. Um, other than that, guys, that's all the events that we really got planned. We will be doing events like at crunches and stuff like that. Digging the hat. I got them. So we've got these hats for sale. We've got everything, you know, pretty much for sale, guys. If you guys want a hat and stuff like that, I'll even hook you up with a discount if you want to buy one. Um, and uh, I'll give you a free shirt instead if that's what you want to do. I'll give you a tight and strong shirt if you buy a hat. Or vice versa, maybe. I don't know. Uh, you got to buy the hat, and I'll give you a shirt. All right? I'll give you a swag bag to go along with it. Um, but, yeah, so that's it for events. But stay tuned. So if you guys don't know, we have a newsletter. If you guys want to get a part of the newsletter, it's real easy. Just text the number 22828, and you text the word Titan Medical. And that'll give you all the instructions of how you need to just say yes, and then you're entered in on the newsletter. Okay? Um, or you can even go to um, like our Facebook page and you can go there and you can enter in and get on the newsletter from there too. It's really cool. It's even on these, these posts that we do on Facebook and whatnot, the lives. Yep. The newsletter's news right there. They, go, they click it, bam, it says sign up. So the even at, on, the, on these lives, you can click that link and get signed up for the newsletter as well. Okay. okay. So it's really, really, really cool. All right, guys. So weekly polls. So we love these weekly polls. And this is another thing that we, we like people to get involved with because we like to hear back from you guys, feedback about some of these different things. And it's in the newsletter. So in the newsletter, it's going to cover any discounts we're having, therapy of the week we're having, events, test testimonials from patients. So you guys can see, you know, we've been around for nine years. There's a reason for that. And there's a reason that our patients love or stay with Titan Medical Center. We get results for our patients. Real patients, real results, and that's what it is. Plus, me and Sharice have been through the grinder. You guys have seen our transformations. We don't only live it. We do it all day long. All right? So the poll for this week is, what do you take to boost your immune defenses or system? All right, so this is a pretty good one. As it goes right along with Nectar of the Gods, which is immune-boosting therapy. And with the time that we're approaching, right, December right now, these are going to start getting the cold months. And with that, usually flu pass around a lot. Now we have COVID, so we just got an extra big brother that's hanging out. So at that point, you want to make sure that you have your defenses up the highest you possibly can. All right, so over-the-counter medicine took the, took the bank and what that was was 52 percent so people are taking over the counter uh supplements probably or they we put medicine on here but i would i would imagine vitamin c zinc vitamin d you know i understand that it's real easy you, you put it in done deal tony i'll answer your question in one second um but yeah so you can take this you can take it over the counter now on the gummies because art brought up the gummies you got to watch out on the gummies now, you're taking these gummies. They taste really good. You're like, oh, this is awesome. Well, one thing, you know they're covered in sugar, right? But look at the other ingredients in there. And I always want you to look at the ingredient label on any product 
you take in your body, whether it's food, whether it's drinks, whether it's a medication, whatever it is, know what you're intaking. So at that point, when you look at some of those different things, some of them have higher fructose corn syrup, horrible for your body. They go right against what you're trying to do. Plus, if you add in too much of that, even for girls, you're going to get side of Big Rod's in the house. Team Titan, OG, Rodney, Big Rod, okay, Rodzilla, he'll be down there with us at Olympia. So, Rodney, I just need you to confirm you're going to go down with us on the 17th and stay to the 20th. All right, you got your room. So, all you got to do is just, let's go. All right. All right, so that was the other one. So, the other 42% said Titan Therapies. You know, for example, Nectar's of Gods, Thymosin Alpha 1, which is a huge one. I'm a big proponent of it. And so Charisse. Glutathione's another one. Injectable vitamin C. Or the Triimmune. So the Triimmune is really cool. It incorporates glutathione injectable, vitamin C injectable, and zinc. So you're getting, you're getting three major components in one injection at high doses that is definitely going to be great for the body. Okay? For a lot of different things. So that's a good one. All right, so question from Tony is, what helps boost testosterone? Now, you know, this is a great question. Now, what helps boost testosterone? Now, I see over-the-counter things like tribulus and stuff like that, and people swear by it. Blood test. Serious start. If you want to try to take those over-the-counter things, take it. 30 days, stay on it. Blood test free and total testosterone levels. See where it's moved. Usually an issue that I find with over-the-counter test boosters. These are over-the-counter. Usually what we find is, is that they don't raise testosterone and they mess with other hormones like estradiol, which increases estrogen, which is going to possibly give you more fat deposits, water retention, irritability, and not get to the results that you're looking for. Now, medication-wise, prescribed from Titan Medical Center, there's multiple things you can do. Now, when you test your free and total testosterone, you really want to look at the levels and see where they're at. And if you want to give it a go and not start out with hormone replacement therapy, even if you might be in that category of needing it or qualifying, you can start in different ways. One is HCG still. HCG, okay, will help. It mimics the luteinizing hormone signal to the test testicles and basically increases spermogenesis and it will increase testosterone levels. With that, usually we see a 200, 300 bump in the range. Um, you know, and that's, and that's not locked in, okay? So you want to make sure that's good. Now, the whole point to this is to stimulate the luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone in the pituitary, which increases that signal and really helps with the production of testosterone. Now, if that doesn't work. You, know, you, you got some other things. You can try Clomid. Clomid is another good one, and that's, you know, it's going to stimulate the FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, and the pituitary to help you increase your testosterone levels. Now, what we see with that is, is patients usually go up in numbers, but symptoms too. You can't just look at the numbers. And medical providers, they shouldn't just look at the numbers. Our medical providers definitely just don't look at the numbers. Because if you look at the numbers, you're just reading a paper. You don't even need the person there. Why? Just read the number. If you think it's just numbers, and that's it. If they don't qualify, there's no. But you need a real good medical provider that's going to look at a couple different things, like we do. And that is your new patient paperwork, which is going to have your symptoms on it. It's going to see what you're going through. Then we're going to talk to you about what your goals are, what your health goals are, what your fitness goals are, where you're trying to really get to. And at that point, then, then they're going to make the decision of what you really need to, to have as far as a regimen and what would probably be the best, and then lay out those options for you. There are some other things that will help raise testosterone levels, uh, but they do get quite expensive. So those are the probably the best ways to go to try to boost your testosterone naturally and try to get the production up. Now, if it doesn't, right? <laughs> Hawk Squad said his shiny leggings yeah. boost mine. That's funny. Uh, or shiny leggings, yeah, boost mine. Yeah, for sure. Uh, especially with a good, good squat rack, right? Um, but so with this, you want to make sure that you can try these different methods if you really want to. And then if those don't work and you blood test and see, right, you feel you feel better, right? Okay, symptoms are relieving, it's getting better, I like the way I'm feeling. Blood test, all right, the numbers are looking good, they correlate, you know, I'm feeling good, I'm getting the results, blood test looks great, then you're good to go. And then at that point, you got to see if your body, after that, you wean off, and at that point, can your body stay at that level of what you're producing? Now, it's either going to stay at that level of production or it's going to start going down. 
It needs that to basically stay where it replace to go where it's at. At that point, if you're at that level, then most likely you're going to need hormone replacement therapy or testosterone replacement therapy. And that's where you can really make the educated decision. And if you want to go through those different hoops to do it, um, to see exactly where it's at and what you can do on a more natural basis, hey, we're all for that. If you can naturally stimulate your own things and we can help out with that, that's definitely a win-win. Okay. Now, we know over time you're going to lose a percentage of testosterone every year. Um, so at that point, it's going to start going down no matter what, what you do. At that point, you're going to have to replace it. Is Decadurabolin okay? Just a thought. So Decadurabolin, all right, so Deca or Nangelone, um, as, the, as we call it. And so at that point, what, what happens is, is a lot of people ask for this, and they think, oh, I, I want it either for to gain mass, which we do not prescribe it for, or I got joint issues, okay? So it might help lubricate the joints, but it's not going to repair the joints or anything like that, or any other injuries for that, for that matter. Um, and at that point, it, it could gain negative weight for people and stuff like that that aren't doing the right thing. Um, so for us, to get Nandrolone, um, you're going to need a whole bunch of supplying documents, maybe MRIs, um, surgery, something like that that's, that's very serious for our medical providers to prescribe it. Um, now, there might be some people out there that are giving it out like candy. We don't want the DEA coming knocking down our door. It's a controlled substance. It's not supposed to be used in a lot of these different circumstances for gaining mass or athletic performance. It's not supposed to be made for that. You know, and that, that's you know that's another thing. Like we can help out with certain things, but our main thing is your health, and that's a priority because that's what we're here for is to help you be healthier. Because the healthier you are, the better results you're going to get. The better quality of life is hopefully going to help you out a long way. Um, and then performance will add on to that as well. I'm telling you, when everything's working like a race car, you get a race car on the track and something's off, it's not going to run its best. And then you get it around, you test and tune, you get everything locked in, dialed in, right? And then it's running perfect. Man, it's going, it's doing laps, record laps. And that's really what you want it to do. Okay? So I hope that answered the question of decanandrolone. I get a lot. That and oxandrolone, which is anavar, that's another big one. All right, so the last thing on the, the, the weekly poll, there was 5%. It was nothing. So 5% of the people are not doing anything. They really don't care. It is what it is. All right. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Hopefully, you'll get through everything and be just fine. And some people will. That's that's the truth with it. Some people don't get sick, and they're going to luck out and not get COVID. And hopefully, they won't have to get the vaccine or anything like that. And we'll see how it goes. Tony, you're very welcome. Any other questions I can answer for you, answer for you man, please. Just, just hype them up. I'll do, do it. Uh, no shit. So DECA isn't what it says it is. Boom. It just blew my mind. Thanks, boss. No, so it's not. It really isn't. So Nangelone's a NOR-19, you know, at that point, um, what it can do is, is, and there's people out there that preach, like, pure Nangelone cycles instead of testosterone and stuff like that. Listen, guys, if you take Nangelone, another side effect, they call it DECA dick. Okay? I'm just being honest with you guys. So at that point, you don't want that. Your partner doesn't want that. Now, usually if you're double dosing, like some guys will go two to one as far as that goes. So if we prescribe it, we make sure that it's a lower dose, it's a therapeutic dose. So you're never going to have those problems. But people usually take it in higher doses, and that's where the issues usually arise. Um, so, you know, you want to do a therapeutic dose. It's not an exogenous type dose thing. Okay. Now, like I said, bodybuilders, people are like, oh, they want to be, they want to gain mass. They want to take a whole bunch of it. That's not what we do here. They can go do that somewhere else. Um, I don't hate on them either. It is a personal choice. All right. Took it two hours ago, sleepy now. All right, start ECA stack today. Took it two hours ago, I'm sleepy now. So, Miguel, all right, so uh, with the ECA stack plus, what I want to know is, is what dose did you get? Is it a pink pill? Is it a blue and white pill? Um, with Titan Complete, you, you're not going to feel any stimulant from that. What that has in it has B complex, it has mix, so it's great for fat burning. It's good for natural energy, but it's not going to be a stimulant type effect. Um, it's going to have your branched chain amino acids in there, which can fruit lean mass, uh, help the body as far as that goes. I'm not going to catabolic effect. So you have the blue pill. So what I want you to do, Miguel, is this. And how long have you been on the blue pill? See, this is awesome, guys. I can interact with you guys. I can triage this stuff right here. I can really, literally help people out right here. And listen, if anybody has these issues, so if you take a medication or a therapy from Titan, hey, listen, is it supposed to be injected like this or uh, is it supposed to make me feel like this? Listen, you guys can always call or text us and we're going to answer you guys right away. So at that point, we'll be able to help you guys out and give you guys an answer that you guys want. You started today. Okay. And before this... Okay, so what I want you to do, Miguel, is this. So tomorrow, I want you to try to take the ECA on an empty stomach, okay? That's usually what our medical providers will say. Try to take it on an empty stomach, 
okay? And then you can eat like 15, maybe 30 minutes later, okay? Take the Titan Complete right in the morning along with the ECA. And then let me know how it goes. I want you to call or text the line, okay, tomorrow. Let me know how it goes and you shouldn't be tired or sleepy. My next question is, is did you take any uh, like caffeine or pre-workouts before starting the ECA Stack Plus? Now, if you're on this blue and white pill and tomorrow you tell me, hey, John, I I'm really not feeling you know, energized, okay? What we can do is, is we do have a higher dose. This is another thing. We have custom doses for these medications in most, most circumstances, especially stimulant ones because everybody's different. Sensitivity is different. People, they take stimulants a whole different way. I know 98-pound girls, they can take way more stimulants than 270-pound guys. It's just really a personal thing in how it is. So never before that. Okay, so I definitely want you to take it in the morning uh, on an empty stomach with the time complete. If you feel the same uh, as you do today, you're tired, you're not really feeling it kick in, I want you to call or text in and say you talk to me, and then you ask for the red bombs. They're a red and white pill. They're a step up than the blue and white. Now, we usually don't advertise these. This is the reason why. I'm going to get to that question, Charles Logger, Loggerman. I'm going to get to that question right away. They run it next. But with this, so we don't advertise the red bombs because it could be two. Four-minute warning. Four-minute warning. So i got to hurry up and get these questions. So the red and white one, Miguel, I want to know tomorrow. You let me know. You text, you call, and you tell them. You tell John. So I know what's going on. I like to be involved, especially if we're talking about it right now. That way I can follow up with you. I make sure, because I talk to a lot of people during the day. I want to make sure that I follow up with everybody and let everybody, you know, get their answer. All right? Okay. All right. So, I know shit. So, I'm digging, what is it? All right. So, can you? All right. Thoughts on a Remedex every day. Okay. So, a one milligram of Remedex could be a lot every day. Now, the difference is this, is sensitivity to estrogen, estrogen, estrogen conversion. So if you have high estrogen conversion, you possibly might need one milligram of Remedex every day. Now, it is a lot, okay? So one, how are you feeling if you are taking it one milligram every day? Um, at that point, have you retested your estradiol levels and free and total testosterone levels to make sure everything coincides? That's another one. You want, might want to do that just to make sure. Um, if that's not working. So if you one milligram of uh, an astrozole or a Remedex you're taking every day, you're still having negative symptoms or it's, your estradiol is still too high. There's other aromatized inhibitors that you can look at. There's one that's letrozole, which is a suicide aromatized inhibitor. Uh, uh, extemistane, which is supposed to be a step up from that. Now that has done our patients. It's done very, very good. It's a little bit more expensive than Nastrozole, but works very, very well. And actually can help raise free testosterone levels as too and, um, with that. So I hope that answers your question. <clears throat> uh, Hulk Squad, I took two mLs of Hercules Potion. I trained like a gamma radiation turned on. Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You want to turn into Hercules in there? You know, 12 labors, you're just, you know, you're killing it. I want that. I definitely want that. That's good stuff. Like the gamma radiation turned on. That's awesome. Like Hulk style. Like Hulk squad. I like that, man. Hopefully you just don't turn green. You know, I, I tried to perform that or perfect that formulation so you didn't turn green, gray, red. I didn't want any of those different colors happening to you. So hopefully you still say, still say, stay, say, stay the same color. <laughs> All right. So I appreciate it, guys. I got down to my warning. I'm going to, they're going to kick me off here because I can only go an hour. I appreciate you guys for all tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to Titan Talk. I'll be here with you guys every Tuesday. I have been for years already. I won't let you down. I'll be here to answer your questions, go over therapy of the week, and some of the different things that are happening around the world with health and athletics and maybe some other things. So I appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, concerns, want to be on the therapies, you're a patient, therapy might not be working, you have questions about it, call or text 727-389-3220. We'd be happy to help you guys out, answer any questions you guys have, go over your therapies with you guys, and make sure you're on track for success. Now, don't forget, guys, New Year's is right around the corner, right? 30 days till New Year's Eve. And then everybody's like, oh, I got my New Year's resolution. I'm going to go to the gym. and I'm going to buy a home gym, and I'm going to lose all this. Start now. Get the head start, right? And that way, you can get these... 90 day transformations or 30 day transformations that they're going to have in January and win some money. I would have had people do this last year. I know it works. You guys will be awesome. So take care, be healthy, be safe. I'll see you guys Friday with Drew on Titan Lifestyle, Big Drew at 2 p.m. Guys, our Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show, Sundays, ABC if you're in Florida. If not, YouTube, 
Titan Medical Center. It's on there and all of our different content. Also be on Facebook on the Titan Medical Center page. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys all tuning in. Love you guys. I got to get out of here. They're going to kick me out. Thank you again. Bye.